what are cellular repair, loft machine and velocipede. We had no clue of what they were. I decided to find out more. Turns out these were the earliest forms of bicycles. The cellular repair was first seen at a stunt show in Paris. A man ran sitting on a wooden scooter like device and took off at great speed. 30 years later came the loft machine. It means running machine in German. This had a steering and was entirely made of wood, but it had no pedal. A rider could glide on it after running to pick up speed. These began to be called velocipede, meaning fast foot in Latin. The invention became very famous. Everywhere, boys and men bought it like toys. People started referring to them as hobby horses. The strange thing was that at that time horses were less expensive than these velocipedes. Both Britain and France claimed the credit of building the first bicycle with pedals. Having an iron frame and wheels, both models were designed in the mid 19th century by the blacksmiths. They were so rigid that the cycle would vibrate while going over a bump, and people actually called it a bone shaker. The first popular bicycle was very different from today. It was called high wheel ordinaries. It had a very tall front wheel and a tiny back wheel. The taller the front wheel, the faster you could go, literally at a dangerous breakneck speed. The safety bicycle invented by John Kemp Starley had a steerable front wheel, two equally sized wheels and a chain drive that controlled the back wheel. The diamond frame that was the basic design of this bicycle is something we all use even today. Slowly, everyone started using the bicycle. Before the invention and mass production of bicycle, there was no other personal transport which did not need food or fuel. Bicycle revolutionized the impact of mobility on society. People say that it expanded the gene pool because now they marry the girl 5 villages away. Shops could serve a wider radius of people. Bicycle gave women the opportunity to see the outside world. The cycle became a symbol of the women's liberation movement. For over a century, postmen on cycles became common all over the world. A few years later, Henry Ford was inspired by the bicycle to invent his new motor vehicle. Now, the rich were more interested in cars and the bicycle was affordable by the working class. In 1869, BSA started making their first Delta cycles. This is one of the earliest cycle brands in existence and is still available in India. Harry Hercules Cycles and Motor Company were set up in 1910. They picked the name Hercules to denote speed and strength. By the mid 30s, Hercules was considered the biggest cycle manufacturer in the world with more than 6 million cycles. After buying BSA, Hercules Cycles and other top cycle brands in 1940s, Tube Investments UK became the world's largest maker of bicycles. In 1949, the Murugappa Group collaborated with them to establish TI Cycles of India. Today, TI Cycles is one of the largest bicycle companies in India and market leader in the special segment. It has something in store for everyone, like children's bikes, mountain bikes for adventure seekers, Ladybird range of women's bikes and India's first carbon fiber bike Montra. Over the years we started to prefer cars and bikes to cycles. Now we are realizing that cycles are great because they are an amazing way to stay fit. It's environmentally friendly and finally a ride on a bicycle is so much fun.